Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I'm going to do an in-depth review of this TF Luna LiDAR sensor. This sensor can be used guys for altitude hold for your drone or for obstacle avoidance. So in this video guys, apart from unboxing, I'll be telling you what are the technical features and specifications which this LiDAR sensor has. And towards the end of the video guys, I will also be telling you how to wire this LiDAR sensor onto your drone frame. So ensure that guys, you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Let's get started. So guys, before we go through some of the technical specifications and features of this LiDAR sensor, let's quickly unbox this and see the physical specifications. So here, as you can see guys, whenever you purchase this TF Luna LiDAR sensor guys, this comes in this anti-static packaging so as to protect it from any static charges during the transport guys. So here on the package on the top, you will see it comes with the branding. It's a TF Luna LiDAR sensor guys. It has an operating voltage of 5 volt, has an interface of both UART and I2C. It comes with this QR code guys so as to be able to download the user manual if you want you can go through it guys but i will be telling you all about it in this video itself guys on to the back side guys it comes with the barcode information and the labeling that is all you have on the top of the package now let's quickly open this and see the contents inside so that is all what you have in the package guys as you can see it does not come with any user manual or specification guys which is why i will be telling you all about this sensor and the specifications pin diagram in this video itself guys so here you can see guys it comes with this six pin micro jst connector guys so as to be able to connect this lidar sensor onto your flight controller or any project that you are doing so guys this is your main lidar sensor itself guys this sensor is based on the time of flight principle guys so it throws the laser onto the front obstacle and whenever it reflects back it, it captures the time duration it took to return and then calculates the distance between it guys so that is how this sensor works guys as you can see guys this sensor is really really small guys as you can see on my hand the body of the sensor is made out of plastic guys here you have front lenses which throws the laser and captures the response guys on to the bottom side guys as you can see it comes with this six pin micro JST connector guys I will be going in detail with the pin diagrams and what does that mean later in this video guys for which this jumper connection was provided so as to be able to connect here but let's finish the physical specifications first so here you can see guys on to the side guys there are two mounting holes that it comes with these are m.2 holes guys that will be used to mount this slider sensor onto your drone frame on to the back side guys as you can see it has an open circuitry and you have some of the screws so as to hold all the components inside together in this small form factor so that is what you have as per the physical specification guys Let's quickly see the technical specifications and how to connect this onto your flight controller. So guys, as per the technical specification goes for this TF Luna LiDAR or range sensor, as you would say. So the technical specification says this is TF Luna. The distance resolution is one centimeter. So what does that mean is it can detect minimum distance change of up to one centimeter. So that is how it works. So if there is a distance change between 20 to 21 centimeter, it can detect but if it is 20.5, it will not detect. So that is what it means. So it has a resolution of one centimeter. It has an operating frequency of 100 Hertz. So that is the maximum operating frequency on which you can use this TF Luna LiDAR sensor. Ambient light resistance is 70 kilolux. So which is also something really nice guys. So guys, if you are in really bright conditions as well, in daylight as well so it can detect an object in front of it even if it is really bright with a maximum luminosity of around 70,000 which is also something really nice it has a detection range of 0.2 meter to 8 meter the weight of the sensor is less than 5 gram field of view is 0.2 degrees what does that mean is basically it has point to point viewing angle guys so it can really sense what is exactly in front of it guys since its viewing angle is two degrees only so it can detect only one object at a time which is there in its field of view which is two degrees it has an operating voltage of around five volt plus and minus 0.1 volt on which you can operate so the data interface that it has it has a dual interface from uart so you can use 
टी एक्स एन आर एक्स पिन ऑफ योर फ्लाइट कंट्रोलर और इट ऑल्सो सपोर्ट्स आई टू सी प्रोटोकॉल सो यू कैन यूज एस सी एल एन एस डी ए विच इज योर आई टू सी पोर्ट्स ऑन योर फ्लाइट कंट्रोलर टू माउंट दिस स्लाइडर सो द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ दिस स्लाइडर इज सिक्स सेंटीमीटर विद इन द रेंज ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट टू मीटर टू थ्री मीटर एंड प्लस माइनस टू परसेंट error when you have a range of 3 meter to 8 meter so these are the technical specifications of this slider guys now let's quickly see the pin diagram and how to connect this slider onto the flight controller guys as per the pin diagram goes here you can see it has six pin from 1 to 6 from left to right guys so the pin number 1 is your 5 volt supply pin number 2 and pin number 3 is for rx and tx which dual serve role for your i2c port as well for sd and scl fourth pin is your ground pin and the fifth pin is your configuration pin so fifth pin if you ground it it will be used in the mode of sda and scl which is i to c port if you have no connection or 5.5 volt on this fifth pin guys that means you're using this in serial connection so guys if you leave pin 5 with no connection that means it is being used in default or uart mode sixth pin is your multiplex pin for i to c mode it is data ready signal so guys whenever your data is ready in this sensor guys this pin number 6 will be your ready signal pin for your i to c mode connection guys so this is the pin configuration of this lidar so now let's see how to connect it to the flight controller as you know guys i will be using this metex s f765 wsc flight controller to connect this lidar i have a uart pin free as of now as per my current pin diagram using this uart 3 but guys you can take this as a general suggestion to connect it to any uart pin which is free and available on your flight controller so here on my flight controller i'm going to use uart 3 so which is t3 and r3 my t3 is going to rx pin which is pin number 2 here you can see and r3 which is rx pin of my flight controller is going to the tx pin of my lidar so that is how we connect and then you have 5 volt and ground which is available on vx and ground as of now on my flight controller that is how i'm going to connect this flight controller so this is it guys this is how you connect the lidar onto your flight controller for object detection guys so in my future videos guys i will be doing the software part of it on how to configure this lidar onto your flight controller and how to configure this lidar to detect the objects so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss on my future videos so this concludes this video guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribe to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies